Before diving in with the main topic of the video, let's revisit lost or deleted YouTube videos. For those of you who don't know, the Impractical Jokers group is actually called the Tenderloins. They began making comedy skits together in the late 90s, when the group was made up of Joe Gatto, James Murray, Sal Volcano, Gideon Horowitz, and Mike Bocchio. The latter of the two would leave in 2006, to which Brian Quinn joined the group. With the advent of such sites like YouTube and MySpace, they began growing a following. This is mainly due to a series of skits they made, including one called Time Thugs, that won the 2007 NBC It's Your Show Award. You Timmy Jenkins? Who wants to know? I fist want to know, you little bastard. Uh! Yeah. Uh! Now I'm a multi-billionaire with a million friends and a hot wife. Hi. These were up for many years until around two years ago when many began to disappear. The channel was more heavily revamped with the group's current image, but luckily, before they could be gone forever, some users re-uploaded these skits so that they could further be cemented in Joker's history. What part of the game is this? Game? We stopped playing the game. So during a recent rewatch of Impractical Jokers on HBO Max, I noticed something really depressing. Not only had some lines been cut out, but certain episodes involving Joe had been removed. If you somehow don't know, Joe recently split up with his wife of 8 years, Bessie Gatto, and parted ways with the show. Here are all the changes I can find. Season 2, Out of Fashion During the challenge, Whoa Whoa Whoa, he was told by Sal to say something rather inappropriate to a woman in a pink scarf. The line is, Whoa Whoa Whoa, orgasms can be fake? He gets disqualified for not saying it which leads him to lose the episode. The line was removed with no audio besides the music playing. Season 2, Human Piñata Most of this punishment stayed the same, but Murr's cursing after the reveal is cut out. Most of it is just him swearing, which is partially bleeped out already. Season 3, Clash of the Jokers During the challenge where Joe and Sal compare each other's mascots to a complete stranger, a line is cut out. And I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure it was something offensive Joe said that True TV or possibly Joe himself doesn't look back on kindly. And that's actually a theme for a lot of these entries. But my guy's like, hey, it's me, get out! Season 4, The Dream Crusher. This whole episode is removed from HBO Max and True TV, most likely due to Bessie Gatto making a physical appearance. It was during a challenge where the guys must come up to a random stranger and kiss them. I think she's very hot, Joe. <laughs> you sons. We invited That's my wife. wife. Yeah, I know my wife's voice, Mark. Uh... Bessie tempts Joe to kiss her instead, or, jokingly said, he will be sleeping on the couch that night. She has made appearances through photos in the show a couple other times, but this is the only time she appeared fully on screen. <laughs> Here comes the plane for the landing. Season 4, Stripped of Dignity. Another episode entirely removed recently, which has a punishment where Joe must strip tease someone at the park that the other Jokers picked out. He comes up to strangers in random costumes before ripping it off and shaking his ass. It honestly just sounds like a standard Jokers episode, so I don't see the problem. You're under arrest for too much sexy. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Oh, she got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Season 7, Speech Impediment. During the challenge Magic Mirror, where the guys make skits to make each other laugh, one of them must have pissed off Nintendo. Because now, when you watch it, the scene where Sal is Mario is partially censored. All mentions of Mario or Princess Peach are cut out, and a logo on his hat is as well. The skit just has Sal failing to let a pregnant Peach sit down on the subway, which is hilarious. Venue. This is Preggers! There's <laughs> a lot of seats, I think. That's why I <laughs> Look at Sal's face! Just too unnecessary. Yeah. So many seats, you'll be high up there in the. Season 7, Bull Shiatsu. The whole episode is removed for the punishment where Joe is disguised as a massage chair, so in a way, he is touching people without their knowledge that it's a person. What sucks is that this is the last time Bayamba appeared on the show, 
Due to Sally passing away about a year and a half later, he shows up at the end where Joe gives the sumo wrestler a belly rub. Season 8, Sun Fan Lotion. The whole episode was removed for the punishment where Joe asks a fan to rub suntan lotion all over his mostly naked body. The fan was not aware this was a part of the show at first, but was gleeful to spend time with his idol. His enthusiasm is actually really hilarious. Big blue uh, I know my big blue eyes. And stuff. <laughs> We're going full on in a thigh. Full on in a thigh, centimeters from his privates. Joe, the punishment ends when you get an erection. <laughs> Season 8, Rock Bottom. The final of the five removed episodes has a punishment where Joe must give an orientation speech to college arrivals, but he originally meant to think he was a scare of them, made to blend in with the stone wall, so he was mostly naked for this besides his boxers. It's just some statistics that'll, that'll rock your mind, okay? 82% uh, of hazing-related deaths involve alcohol consumption. Don't take these numbers for granted. Don't take these numbers for granted. It's just weird hearing all of these because none of these even sound that bad. Maybe pushing the envelope, but nothing that could get anybody cancelled. I also find it odd because other punishments involving Joe are just as bad, if not worse than those I listed. I like the season 2 episode where Joe and Murr play strip high five. Joe was literally one high five away from being naked in front of all of New York City, but Murr lost instead, with Joe pulling his boxers down. Take it! There are some other examples too, just adding to my point. The idea that these already aired episodes are being changed really pisses me off. The idea of anybody trying to hide something they already did just feels disingenuous to me, and I hope somebody at True TV or HBO Max will realize all of this. For the search, it wouldn't be too hard to find the original versions of all of these. I'm sure somebody out there has a DVD or digital copy for a show as big as this. If you do, upload them to archive.org or something and let me know please.